is Mrs. Kelly, and today you're going to be a letter hero. Today you're going to learn all about the letter O. We're going to learn the name, the sound, and how to write this letter. Learning how to read and write this letter is going to help you read and write many words. Let's first learn the name of the letter O. So this is the letter O. Now this is the uppercase letter O. Can you say that? Uppercase O. This is the lowercase letter O. Can you say that? Lowercase O. Good, now let's practice naming the letter O. Are you ready? Here we go. What letter is it? Uppercase O, good. What letter is it? Lowercase O. Okay, let's try again, I might mix it up. What letter is it? Lowercase O, I didn't trick you, did I? And what letter is it? Yes, it is uppercase O. Good job. Now, the letter O is really special because it can make two sounds. It can make the short sound, like in the word octopus. Listen to the beginning sound of that word, ah. Uh, Ah, uh, octopus. The letter O's short sound is ah. Uh. Now watch me make that sound. And you can try it too. To make the short sound for the letter O, you're going to open up your mouth, drop your tongue down, and lower your chin to make a big O shape like this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You try it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Great job. The letter O can also make the long sound. It can say its own name, like this. O, O, like in the word oval, like the shape. O, O, oval. Now watch my mouth to make this sound, and you can try it too. I'm going to make a small O shape with my mouth and say, O, O, you try it. O, O, good job. Okay, let's practice naming the sound for the letter O. All right, let's practice the short sound first. Ready? Ah, 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 good. Ah, 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 nice. Okay, now let's practice the long letter O sound. Ready? Say it with me. O, 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 good. O, O, O. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to practice finding the letter O in a question. Now, I'm going to ask you a question to get your brain ready about what we're going to learn today. It's all about predicting the weather or knowing what the weather is going to be like. Our question today is how can we know what the weather will be like today? Hmm. Can you think of some ways that you can predict or know what the weather will be like? Well, we're gonna learn a little bit about that later by reading a book. But for now, I'm gonna get out my handy dandy magnifying glass and we're going to search for the letter O in this sentence. Are you ready? All right, great. Let's look at our first word. Our first word is the word how. Do you see the letter O in the word how? You do, that's right, it's right here in the middle. There, the lowercase o, how, how. Our next word is can. Do you see the letter o in the word can? Nope. Our next word is the word we. Do you see the letter o? Nope. Our next word is the word no. Do you see a letter o? Yes, here it is, the lowercase o. Listen to the ending sound in n o. We hear the long o sound at the end of that word. Our next word is what. Do you see o in the word what? Nope. Our next word is the word the. Do you see an o? Nope. Our next word is weather. No o. Will. No o. Be. Like. Today, do you see an O in the word today? Yes, very good. We see another lowercase O. Great work finding the letter O in our question today. We'll be answering that one later. 
Now we're going to learn how to write the letter O. We're first gonna learn how to write the uppercase letter O. Watch me make the uppercase letter O and we're gonna practice before we try it on our own. We're going to start at the top, go around, down, and back up to the top. All right, now before you write it on a piece of paper or a notebook, I want you to put your finger in the air and trace it with me. Are you ready? Start at the top, around, down, and back up to the top. Do it again. Start at the top, around, down, and back up to the top. One more time. Start at the top, around, down, and back up to the top. Awesome, you are ready to write, so get out something to write with, and let's practice writing the letter O. Here we go. Start at the top, around, down, and back up to the top. Do it again. Start at the top, around, down, and back up to the top. One more time. Start at the top, around, down, and back up to the top. Great work. What letter did we just write? Yes, uppercase O. All right, now we're gonna learn how to write our lowercase O. Watch me write it, and then we're gonna trace it before we write it ourselves. We're gonna start in the middle, go down, around, and back up to the middle. All right, now put your finger in the air and I want you to trace it with me. Start in the middle, go down, around, back up to the middle. Do it again. Start in the middle, go down, around, back up to the middle. One more time. Start in the middle, go down, around, back up to the middle. Okay, now you're ready to write. Here we go, write it along with me. Start in the middle, go down, around, back up to the middle. Good, let's do it again. Start in the middle, go down, around, back up to the middle. One more time. Start in the middle, go down, around, back up to the middle. Nice work. What letter did we just write? That's right, a lowercase o. Great work today. You're a letter o, letter hero. Remember, we learned the uppercase letter O and the lowercase letter O. And remember, O can make two sounds. Let's practice those together. It can make the short sound like in the word octopus. Say the sound with me. Ah, ah, octopus. Or it can make the long sound like in the word oval. Say the long sound with me. O, O, oval. Nice work. All right, I want you to look around your house and see if you can find the letter O anywhere. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by, and by viewers like you. Thank you.